All right, let's import your 23andMe data into Genome Browse for a powerful visualization experience. I like to display the file of raw data beside a Genome Browse window. Click the Add button to add a data track. A copy of my raw data file is in the folder called Local Data. Click on Convert to launch the Genome Browse Data Conversion Wizard. Click the Add button and navigate to the raw data file. Select the file and click on Open. Then go to the next screen. A sample of converted data is prepared for evaluation purposes. Let's compare the converted data to the raw data. The first line is SNP RS4477212 at position 82154 of chromosome 1 with genotype AA. Now inspect the preview of converted data. The first line is in perfect agreement with the raw data. Notice that the conversion wizard added some additional fields. The second line is SNP RS3094315 at position 752566 with genotype AA. The second line of the raw data file is a perfect match. You may want to check more, but let's assume there's perfect fidelity in the conversion. My next screen shows a warning in the source to segment mapping. I'm going to ignore this warning and click next. Now I'll add some documentation so I remember the details about the origin of this data. Take advantage of HTML tags if you want to link out to resources. For example you may want to link out to the 23andMe data source. I'll copy and paste the URL to the raw data page from my 23andMe account. Now when I'm viewing my data in Genome Browse, this link will always be immediately available. Go ahead and complete the other items. For the notes I'll just clean up the header information that came with the raw data file. While you're working on this, let me show you how the link will appear in Genome Browse. When I click on my data track, the console displays the track's description. I can link out directly to my account page on 23andMe. Clicking on Billy Ashcraft's data track, the link reminds me that this was from the publicly available personal genome project. Alright, let's finish importing the data. When you are finished editing the header data, click Next. By the way, if you're ever unsure of what to do, help is just a click away. Tick all the field indexing boxes, so that the searches you will perform in Genome Browse will look through the imported data. Click the Convert button. This next step takes some time, so you'll need to be patient. On my MacBook Air, a vintage 2015 machine, it took about a half hour. After writing new file, the next steps are pretty fast. Once all the steps have finished, you will be able to see your data in Genome Browse. Click Finish. Don't confuse the raw data file and the converted data file. The converted data file is now located in user annotations. The raw data file is still in local data. You want the converted data file in the local folder, also found in the user annotations folder. Select the file that contains the converted data. Now click on Plot and Close. A new track appears in Genome Browse. You're looking at more than a half million SNPs displayed across your genome. We'll learn how to zoom in to examine individual SNPs in an upcoming video.